Hi guys, it's Amy with aim to plan and I am here to show you my August planner lineup. So if you keep up with these videos where I put together my planner or show you my lineup every month, this will look very familiar. This is the same setup that I had in July, I believe, and part of June. And so we're pretty much just going to do a quick flip through of what I've got in here. And I just wanted to tell you all the different pieces that I have in this planner and, you know, just walk you through it. So um, I did get some ring lights. Um, I don't know that I'm in love with this layout. So you guys give me some feedback if you like the lighting here. I think, I mean, I was kind of okay with just the regular lighting that was in here. But anyway, um, ring lights are like a return to like my very first videos on this channel when I used the giant ring light. Um, this time I purchased two small ring lights that are in the corners here. So anyway, that was a total side note. Let's get into the planner. Um, I do have some like random papers in here that I ended up pulling from my mom's house when I went to her house the other day. Um, this video is going up a little bit late. Um, and so when I initially set up August, um, I actually didn't really set it up. I just continued what I had in here. Um, I had several pieces that were a they were exactly what I was using in July, but I did decide to change up some of it um, in the past week or two. Um, actually, in the past week, just because I started work and some of the pieces that I had in here just didn't make sense. And, you know, it was a little bit harder to carry the planner being so big with it, like all my work stuff. So um, what I do have in here right now is going to be July and August. So I'm just going to flip through the August sections. Um, this is a cover. It's actually one of my favorite covers, but I did turn it inside out. This is what it looks like on the front, <laughs> the actual cover, um, but I did flip it inside out so that way I could just use this side. I feel like it gets less damaged, although it's like very, very dirty. You can kind of see that, um, but I just like the color of the cover with this kind of um, like beige and like the, the light pink. Um, I thought it was just a nice color for fall. Um, and then here I used the expander discs from the Happy Planner. This re released in one of the totes, like the bags that they had put together as a bundle. Um, I think this was the Go Wild tote. So with that being said, that's the cover, that's the discs. Inside, the very first thing that I have set up um, is going to be these um, year at a glance pages. Um, and you, what I do with these pages is pretty much, um, I, I'm using a current set. Um, and what I do is just list anything that is for a future month. So since we're in August right now, I pretty much only use this to list out September events and anything further than September. Um, just because I keep only one month at a time in here, so I can just go straight into August and write August events in August. But anything else, I would have to have a place to put it. So I put it in here and I use it basically like future events. I did go ahead and go through and redate several older pages that I had, some outdated pages, and I just put 2023 on here and I just use it like this. Um, and I try to ignore the color here. You can see I drew lines where um, basically where Sunday, the Sunday Monday separation is uh, to try to designate the weeks. And I just try to ignore the color uh, on the pages. All right. So I have that in here. I do have it through 2023. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much where it is. All right. So again, I mentioned that I do have July in here. So I'm going to flip through that. Um, the next video will be a July flip through. So you can stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm going to go to August. Now, um, again, I have some writing in here already. So let me actually flip to something where I haven't written on it or like very little writing. Um, so what I use for most of my planning in my personal planner is going to be a tool big size planner. Now these pages are outdated, you can see here, but I, again, just try to ignore the days of the week and the year. And I just use the day. All right. So this is August 24th. Um, and I just use it. All right. So this section, I do list out all the big events that we have, but also like if I'm, you know, just like randomly picking up like different tasks or like completing tasks, I will list those in here. Of course, I do have a to-do list, so I love having that. And then here is the top priority section. I generally list any events that are like either all day or like untimed events. Like I don't have a time here that it should go. I just probably need to do it that day. Um, and so those go here in the top priorities. This section, the notes section has rotated um, just depending on my needs. Sometimes it's a budget section. Sometimes it's social media for right now, um, like August 11th, <laughs> like mid August. Um, 
we are using it or I'm using it for social media to track like any posts and filming and editing and things like that that I'm trying to do. Um, I am trying to get back into a routine. So that's what I'm using that section for. Um, and so that's pretty much what I use for my personal planning, like the catch all version of my planner. Um, I do have two other sections in here. The next section is going to be budget. Now budget, what I was using, um, I'll show you this, um, was like a classic size undated planner. Um, and so I do have the pages in here so they look like this but um you know it's just like one of those things where like i started off the month doing something different and then i um was at work and so a lot of the stuff that i'm going to be doing is like either before or after work and so like i wasn't carrying this planner around with me and so what i ended up doing was you can kind of see here i was running on like these skinny mini sheets of paper and so i decided just to go ahead and continue doing that i put it in like pretty much this is all of the skinny mini that i have left um and i'm just going to try and use this down um in like this was a while back several videos ago i talked about how like i'm trying to use my budget planner to like be a it's it's a place for me to try to use up some of these sheets um like skinny classic and like outdated budget planner pages and just like all the things that you know I am not using somewhere else um and so this is just me trying to use up all of my skinny mini so I do have it in here I am trying to use that and I'm ready to continue doing that um and so I do still have the month in here if I de decide to change my mind and go back to the, the classic this should go in my work planner um, and yeah, but I'm using the Skinny Classic and it's working fine. I basically for budgeting um, have like my budgets, my categories set up, but then like the rest of it is just like logging what I spend every day. So it's not really a huge thing where, you know, I need to like have a full blown setup really. Um, and so the third section that I have in here is going to be my food log. And what I do for this is basically use this planner. Um, and this planner is an at a glance desk planner it's a desk refill that i purchased on amazon i'll try to remember to link it i've had several people ask about this size in particular and it was a three and a half by six size i believe um i'll have to double check that but um i will try to link it um and uh, right now i haven't seen the 2023 version of this planner go up but i will try to link the 2022 version of it the, this exact one that i purchased um and the reason i like this particular one is that monday through Friday gets two days on a page and sometimes these calendars have Saturday and Sunday like facing each other but this particular one does have Saturday on two pages and Sunday on two pages so I really like that I mean I don't change my eating habits <laughs> on the weekends right I eat just as much on the weekends as I do on any other day so what I do here for food logging is basically keep track of what I eat every day it's just writing down what I eat um, I do um, have to test my blood sugars nowadays because of uh, diabetes and so like I will have my note in here and then I will log the numbers that I have as well in here um, and so it's just a track for me to like be able to track all those things um, and so that's what I've been using for my food logging now I do have several other planners that I don't really talk about here in like the planner lineup video but I'll just mention them as honorable mentions I do have a work planner which I set up in a previous video it's the same setup with like outdated dashboard and teacher layout pages um, and so that just went to work and is sitting on my desk at work actually um, and so I do have that I also have Sophia's memory book that has been the same for the entire 2022 year year um, and so it gets a shout out in this video but is not something that I change up regularly um, and so you know I really just don't flip through it because it'd be the same thing pretty much <laughs> every single month um, and then I also did set up in June or July a wellness journal which I pretty much have not used and so I decided for August I'll just take a step back from using that um, just because honestly I haven't used it for like a month and a half um, I haven't used it at all after setting it up um, but I'll try to get back into using it in September um, and hopefully like incorporating it into this system so that way it's not a separate thing um and you know like i said in when i set up the video for the wellness journal that i wanted to prioritize it by making it a separate thing that doesn't work for me i need it to be in my franken planner so in august um i'm just going to let it sit for a little bit and you know just take a break from take a break like not even do it um but in september i'm going to put it in here um or in whatever my september setup is so that way i will be ready to go and will be more ready to like see it and write in it for wellness um and that's really just journaling and doodling and all the creative 
stuff that I like to do with stickers and all those types of things because this planner, the, my personal planner, is pretty functional. Um, even with just a few glimpses that you've seen in this video with the lineup, there is mostly just writing. Um, so wellness is a chance for me to have that creative planning side of it. So I did want to give a shout out or like honorable mentions to those other three planners, my work planner, Sophia's memory book and the wellness journal. Um, but those have kind of stayed the same. So I didn't flip through it. This is the one that changed. My personal planner has changed with its three sections. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, short and sweet, I think. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. And until the next video, bye guys.